Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Survivor One, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you're able to tame the Razor Tooth and Atlas. Now, if you don't know what that is, the Razor Tooth is one of the two dinosaurs you're able to tame in Atlas. There's a the Razor Tooth and the Shield Horn, and those are only able to be found at Golden Age Ruins, and they take some specific resources to be able to tame them and some differing foods. So, the Razor Tooth is actually just pretty much a yut from Ark, and if you don't know what those are, they were just they were a pretty heavily used dinosaur, specifically for boss fights, because it has two abilities: one that debuffs all enemies, and one that buffs all allies. Now, the one for buffing allies makes them take reduced damage and deal more damage, and the one for enemies makes them take more damage and deal reduced damage. So basically, it's a really good buff um, and debuff animal, and it's so really good in Alice as well. Now, before we get into the actual taming, we have to go over um, what you need to tame it. Um, you're also going to hear a lot of clicks. Um, I need to get new MX switches so they're not as loud, but you are going to need quite a bit of different resources because for the razor tooth, it can request a bunch of different foods from you and they're really high tier foods. So all the different foods it can request are the cooked prime fish meat, which is right here, um, the cooked prime animal meat the beef buns they have more names um we look at them in the grill and look at what they actually take fish and chips um, rosemary chicken pork pie and stuffed and baked fish so if you look in the grill these can be cooked in the grill or the cooking pot and if you look in here you'll see exactly what they take so the beef buns take five chili three cooked meat three cooking herbs one salt and ten wheat or maize um then the pork pie takes five cooked meat three cooking herbs three potatoes one salt ten wheat or maize the what is next the fish and chips takes five cooked fish one pepper five salt five vegetables and ten wheat or maize the rosemary chicken takes three carrots three cooked meat three cooking herbs and one salt and then the stuffed and baked fish takes five cooked fish five cooking herbs five peppers one salt and 15 wheat or maize and then there's cooked prime fish meat which is just prime fish meat from like sharks and stuff like that cooked and the cooked prime animal meat is from anything that drops cooked or prime meat on land and then you cook that so that's basically all the different things it can ask for now it can randomly ask for any of these when you're taming them so you're going to need all of them now for the taming pen you can actually use this taming pen, which I have used a slight variation of one of this before, but basically what this is is six foundations. You can use whichever one you want, just keep in consideration that anything below stone, it's going to be able to damage. So if it's going to take a long time or something like that, you're going to want to use stone. Now also on Golden Age Runes, so if you're doing this on official servers and you're on Golden Age Runes, I think when you place stuff, it has two hours till it gets destroyed so you have a time limit if you build something like this i'm not going to stay there forever but this is six foundations a small gateway with a gate and then i do three high pillars i do three high pillars all the way around just so they can't get through now the reason you want pillars instead of walls is because they did a change a while ago that made it so walls actually if the animal's head when it's down is sticking through the wall you won't be able to feed it so pillars pretty much alleviates most of this sometimes its head will still kind of stick through a pillar and it'll be kind of hard to feed it um, but this should be all you need and pretty much what you're going to do is you just pull the animal in you actually want to stand in front of these it's probably because i'm flying but you want to stand in front of these and get them to open like that. It's must eat you to close. And I'm going to spawn one in. So normally you'd have to be on a golden age ruins for this. And go find them and then kite them into this like a normal animal. But I'm just going to spawn one in at a random level. Um, and I'm just going to kite it in here. Now you kite in here. Now you're going to be taking damage like normal. It's still a normal animal like 
any other aggressive thing, any lions, tigers. I have videos of taming, um, other stuff like that. But if you... You really shouldn't have an issue, especially if you're using plate armor. They don't hit insanely hard. I'll actually... Turn off God real quick so you guys can see the damage. It was 10 in full normal plate armor. That's decently hard, but that's not too crazy. Now, you're just basically going to do what you do for everything else. You're going to get it low. These things don't have a ton of HP either. Um, they're not like super tanky. This is also a level 4. That's slightly too high, I guess. But it's so a normal animal. You're going to tame it like everything else. You get it low. You trap it with your bowl up. Now, how to tame it without taking damage. You have to go straight up to its face like this. Now it says it needs beef buns. So you're going to pull out your beef buns and then you're going to feed it. And if you go straight towards its face, just to the point where you're able to feed it, it should not hit you at all. Um, so just do it like this. If you go behind its head or in front of it, it'll still hit you every time. So you go straight up in front of it like this. And it's going to be super high effectiveness. See one bite... Um, gave it 5.8% at a level 4 and only took 1.1% of effectiveness away. Now, this is one times taming. This isn't six times or anything else like that um, that they have buffed on official servers right now. This is the base taming. I think that's considered two times from what it used to be base but this is still just times one. So this isn't any increase. Now, as you can see, it's switched and it wants what does it actually want it wants baked fish not to tab out so it wants its baked fish right here and you'd put it down there now it got red because i took too long you don't once it gets red it starts losing taming so you don't want to do that so that's pretty much all you do and then you just tame it like normal now the hardest thing about these is because it's on golden age ruins so there's going to be the high level stuff everywhere um, and you need all this high tier food, but I'm just going to cheat force tame this one if I can type at all. You guys are probably hearing some heavy clicking, um, but okay, this thing isn't force taming. Is it force tame? One of those got it, but... After you tame it, it is a pretty decent animal. I'm going to actually have to throw a bunch of stuff down. What am I carrying that's so heavy? I'm just going to throw a ton of this stuff away. I'm on my own server and I spawned all this in, by the way. So you guys are going to have some difficult time getting all that food and stuff. You're going to actually need a cook as well. I forgot to mention that. You're going to have to go into your skills. And you're actually going to have to have a cook, which I think people have a lot more... I know they increase the amount of points you get, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Which one is it? It is this. So it is better recipe, basic recipes. So you're going to have to go in cooking, then basic recipes. And you can just go into basics of cooking and use a cooking pot if you don't want to go into a grill. And it is a pretty decent animal. Now, as you can see on a level, even on a level four, or just on a level four, level five, I guess, its stamina drain is pretty heavy. And also, its right click is its... Um, debuff growl so if there's anything close it'll put something over its head it's left or c is actually its buff growl um which buff all of its allies it does not buff itself and how the buffs work is it starts at a percent if i'm not mistaken it's 50 percent it's either 50 or 25 percent um for the buffs we talked about before and then it reduces it over time so as the buff goes it reduces that percentage till it's all gone and as you can see right here it gives it that buff and now it's red now it's going to take more damage and as you can see the buff actually has a um, circle on it that it's going around in circle and it's slowly reducing the percentage it actually does so we'll test it right here on this turtle. Hopefully it doesn't get one shot. So it, we did 39 on the turtle right there. Then we debuff it. Now it's going to take or it's going to deal reduced damage as well. Now we did 59. And also that's not with the buffs because we can't buff ourselves. So if you're using this on another animal um, or a tamed animal, you do both. That wild creature is taking more damage 
do dealing reduced damage the thing you buffed is now taking less damage and dealing more damage so it's basically just multiplying it and making whatever you have with you that you can buff and debuff just making everything so much stronger it's not a super strong animal at level four it's still a decently strong animal it doesn't have a lot of weight but it has 200 health or 300 health um and it hits decently hard um for being this level of a creature but it's just super good at you know having other creatures with you and making them tankier deal more damage debuffing other stuff so it's overall just a super good um animal to have but it's super super hard to tame now, I'm going to also be linking in the description basically a Word document I made that shows you, um, you know, the name of all the food you need for this, what all that food requires. Um, now, you need a bunch of different resources that you get from different corners of the map almost. Like, you need chilies, you need wheat, all this different type of stuff. So, you can just Google. There are maps um, that show all of the resources wherever you can get them. So, you're going to need to go do that. You're going to need um to you know prep for this quite a bit and you're probably going to need a bunch of other players with you since you're on golden age ruins but if you're able to get this it is very much worth it it looks really cool it's really strong one of the best teams in the game um so if you get it you know you're gonna have a super strong um reward for doing all this preparation now pve um this is gonna be amazing because there's not gonna be players ever trying to kill it pvp um, you're going to have to determine if, if it's worth for you guys to go get. I would definitely recommend having a bunch of people with you because, you know, you can kill these. I would also recommend, um, actually having a saddle on it. You actually need a saddle on it. This is forest time, so I don't need a saddle. Um, but it is a tier three saddle. And I would definitely recommend going HP with these things since they're buffing and debuffing. You want to go HP so they don't die. But anyways, that is how you tame a razor tooth. I will be doing a video on how to tame the shield horn, which is the other dinosaur. But subscribe if you want to see more Atlas content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you think about Atlas as a whole. Um, what other type of Atlas videos you guys want me to do? I'm going to be doing the upload video, the update videos. But let me know if there's any other guides or anything from endgame you guys want me to do. And thanks for watching.